I want another one. Welcome back to another video. We have an awesome challenge today. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun challenge today. So hopefully you listen to everything we're about to say and don't skip so you know what's going on because that's what's gonna make this video fun and different today. So for today's video, we're using six different baits yes. and we'll first tell you the baits and then we're gonna tell you what's gonna make this video interesting. We are at the Potomac River today, first off, at <laughs> the same spot we've tried a couple of times. Uh, it seems to be where the bite's been fired for us. Yep. Um, so yeah, hopefully the bite is fired. Uh, six baits we will be using is chicken. We have jello and plain chicken. We have LY for cut bait. Cut bait's always fire. Mm, oh, it is. Uh, bait shrimp. shrimp. Yep. <clears throat> uh, eel. Yep. Fat, a big fat eel. All these are great catfish and baits. Oh, it is. Um, Slim, Slim Jims. Jims. Yeah. And one more. Um, hot dogs. Hot dogs. dogs. Jello covered hot dogs. As you know, all these baits can catch catfish. Some of them are way better than others. So we have three fire baits, which is the eel, the chicken, and the LY right. cut bait. Those are the three baits we're aiming to get. So the question is, who's going to get which, which baits, right? Because we have six yeah. different baits. We want to use them all. We are going to have six rods out, three apiece. So tell them how we're going to determine who gets to use what baits. So we are going to spin the wheel. And the wheel is going to tell us what baits each of us get. Yes, we're going to take turns spinning this wheel and then we'll know the outcome. So this is a challenge. We're battling for four hours. Most fish wins. Now we have to determine who's going to get the best baits. So with that being said, let's spin this wheel. All right, let's see what we get here. Come on, give her a Slim Jim. I want some chicken. Uh, bait shrimp. I'll take it. Um, yeah, bait shrimp's been good for you in the past. It's not the best yeah. bait, but it's not the worst, right? No. Uh, you know what I want. Cut bait. I'm a cut bait guy. Come on. Come on. Give me the cut bait or eel. Cut bait or eel. Cup, cup. No, not the hot dogs. <laughs> oh, you know I hate hot dogs. Liz okay. knows hot dogs is like my most hated bait. See, I would have took hot dogs. All right. So my second spin. Let's see what I can get out of this thing. Hopefully it's not a good bait. Give, give her one of the bottom ones. Oh, oh, get chicken! Chicken! Oh, crap! Yes! So you have the jello and plain chicken. Yep, jello and bit of chicken. Uh, what's my second bait going to be? Come on, eel. Come on, eel or, or cut bait. Eel or cut bait. Eel or cut bait. No! No! <laughs> slim gems. I got hot dogs and Slim Jims. <laughs> oh. All right, Liz. This will determine what our third baits are. All right, last spin. Let's see what my last bait is. Come on, cut bait for me. Give her the eel. Give me the cut bait. Give me the cut oh, bait. Oh, well, I'll take it though. I got eel. Okay. So it looks like you got the best two baits. Um, the best bait I have is going to be the cut bait. You have the eel, which is fire. You have oh. chicken, which is fire. Okay. So you have the advantage, kind of. I do. You have a bigger advantage so it's gonna be fun so we're gonna get set up but first of all I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to us I never thought we would be at 91 su subscribers while we're phenomenal. filming this and one of our videos hit 1,000 views last night we woke up this morning in shock thank you and thank you for all the nice comments we're gonna keep putting out content but first of all let's get set up and get the lines out there and see if we can win this battle all right <laughs> show you guys my baits <clears throat> I have uh, the bait shrimp here and they give it out in a little ziplock I have both regular chicken and strawberry jello chicken but you know how I do with them and then uh, I have an eel I don't know if you guys I might have to pull it out later so you can really see how big this eel is but I have eel really chunky yeah it's a big eel I for me that was about I got the cut bait, which is LY. I got the strawberry jello hot dogs and the Slim Jim, yay. <laughs> which I can eat if I don't catch anything. That's true. So we're gonna get bait up, get our lines out and get this challenge going. Most fish, four hours. All right. We got a nice little piece of eel head on here. I'm gonna get this out there. Slim Jim in. All right, we got all the lines in the water, as you can see. So uh, hopefully we get on some fish, AKA me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far. So we use the wheel, we call it the Carpatrick's Wheel of Fear, and you guys will be seeing this in future videos. So do not worry, you will see, it will be coming back. Um, but today, it's 87, it's a scorch already, it's 87 degrees already. It's 7.30 in the morning here. 
supposed to get up into the 90s and a heat index of over 100 degrees today. So it's going to be a hot, hot day. But we're looking forward to hopefully catching some fish. Hopefully it's just me because I don't want James to catch any. You know, I got to win this challenge. Almost fell trying to get to the out of the chair. My goodness. Yep, still going. Yeah, it's on. I'm pretty sure it's on here. All right. That's on the jello chicken too, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Doesn't feel too hot there. Oh no, it's decent. Not bad. Not bad. All right. <clears throat> Fish number one, strawberry jello chicken here. It's already started. I mean, we've only been here about. 30 minutes or so. Awesome start. Get back in the water. She's had four takedowns and one fish in 45 minutes. I've had one tap. This ain't right. Oh, oh, go, go, go. That's on the hot dog. Come on, come on, come on. It's on. All right. Just out too. Just rebated it. Score one for the Jello hot dog. Small one, but hey, skunk is off the board for me. Jello hot dog. Getting bites on the Jello hot dog again. Oh yeah. Hot dog, hot. Oh yeah, the hot dog, Jello hot dog. It's on. Definitely not a one pounder, I can tell you that. Putting up a good fight. One a strawberry hot dog. That's two for me. I've taken the lead. This one ain't too bad, a couple pounds. So strawberry uh, hot dog's doing good for me, strawberry chicken. For me, yeah. Awesome. two on the board for me now so I've tied it up to James this was strawberry jello chicken so that strawberry jello is it's working for both of us yeah it is one hour left and we are tied this is strawberry jello chicken is uh on fire with my hot dog strawberry jello hot dog nothing else nothing those two baits on fire so far tied two to two Number three on the strawberry jello hot dogs. Hot dogs is the only bait I'm getting bites on. And I have cut bait and everything out there. So nice fish. I'm in the lead three to two now. She has 45 minutes. I literally have 20 minutes left to try to catch another fish to at least tie James. If he wins this, I'm gonna hear this all the way home. This is I gotta catch another one, guys. Gotta catch another one. Well, time is up, guys, and I have lost. Yes. Uh, well, first off, I did uh, like to thank the Jello Wieners 
for not letting me down and I do want to apologize to the Jello Wieners for doubting it in the beginning and say I hated them. <laughs> I, uh, I promise you Jello Wieners I will buy you some chocolate and flowers. Um, thank you for helping me win today because I haven't won a challenge on this channel since we started. So I started to you know get down on myself but me and the Jello Wieners pulled it off. <laughs> so how, how do you feel about the Kirkpatrick Wheel of uh, Fear? Wheel of Fear? Uh... Ooh, it, it can be deadly as it was today for me. Um, I, I mean, honestly, it looks like you had the advantage. It and, did. It did. And, and look, my, my jello wieners. I honestly would have taken those jello wieners, but that's all right. I mean, it's just shocking. But on a serious note, everybody, it goes to show you that why you should take a variety of baits out here. That's what we were trying to show you. Is that anytime you go fishing, especially if you're fishing at a tournament where you're, you're going serious fishing, bling several baits. Because, like today, we have a lot of top baits out here, and only two different baits were working. The Jello Chicken and the Jello Wieners, or Jello Hot Dogs, mm. were the only ones working. I had Cut Bait LY, which is a fire bait. We had Eel. So, variety of baits is important. I really think it's important for everybody out there to know that sometimes, and I know, I know a lot of people say catfish aren't picky, but come on. I think they're like more like us than people want to admit, and they have their days where they just don't want that pasta. Simple as that. Yeah. Um, but again, thank you everybody for helping us climb the ladder here. We couldn't be climbing and you know growing our channel without all of you. We really hope you enjoy our content. We have a lot of great stuff planned for the next year, up for a year or maybe even two, of content we want to do. So we would appreciate again if you slam dunk that thumbs up and subscribe if you like our content, all that good jazz. And uh, on that note, Kirkpatrick's, Kirkpatrick's out. out.